Good morning. This program is designed to create a classroom setting that makes it easy to learn how to drive the process easier, accommodating students and their needs to help them build their futures. Alan Bostwick is a few weeks away from graduating from the Ann Arbor Academy. Well, I've been really looking into like the reserves and uh, looking into some other types of military work, trying to follow, follow the steps of my grandfather. He was in the Navy. On the side, he's a host at Zingerman's. If I didn't have a car, it would either be taking the bus there, Uber, and having my mom drive me. But with the car, I can just go into from there within like 15, 20 minutes. Alan has autism and ADHD but was able to learn how to drive in a program designed to accommodate his learning needs. The idea for the program that helps students like Alan started with Debbie Molesky. I was concerned because my son was 18. He's on the autism spectrum and he hadn't learned how to drive. And I believed that he did need to be able to get groceries. He needed to be able to go out on his own and become independent. Debbie turned to her employer, Ford, to see if they would sponsor a program that would provide classes to teens on the autism spectrum. The answer was yes, with some help from researchers from the University of Michigan. The program provides understanding teachers. He needs to walk while he's learning, maybe in the back of the room. And smaller class sizes. The reason I like in outdoor driving schools because they're able to work on you a lot more one-on-one -on -one with you. Even a simulator to practice before hitting the road. So the simulation of how do you drive, um, how do you avoid obstacles, because one of the things that can happen when you have autism is that a lot of sensory input that comes in at once can overload the brain and you can kind of shut down. And of course, you don't want to do that when you're driving a car. Alan and I were able to take a drive. We talked music. Then I heard a song and I was like, oh, this song is really bopping to it, you know, really vibe with it. <laughs> and we also talked high gas prices, especially when you're the first one in your friend group with a license, something we have in common. I'm like, you guys got money for this? Yeah, you got money. It's like, <laughs> my gas tank don't run on friendship, you know? <laughs> for Alan, getting his license is also an important life lesson. Here, it helped me understand that my disabilities do not weigh me down. I can perform just as well as any other kid in any public school, as long as I try hard enough, you know? Classes are starting up again in late June or early July. There's currently a wait list. You can reach out to the Ann Arbor Academy by sending them an email. We have some information on our website, WXYZ.com, directing people to their website for more information. But this is such an exciting opportunity. Yeah, a key for their independence as they're growing up. And dignity and self-worth, you know, empowerment. It's a great program. Yeah, and, and Alan is right. Friendship does not help the gas tank. So if you're hitching a ride. Oh, good point. Hey, Allie, can I borrow some money for gas? Nope. Got you're right. Then friendship does not help the gas tank. I tried, but, you know, Allie was right.